These are 70 watt panels. They are strange. Holy Hanson, they're too long for the table. <laughs> is there sticky film on here? What is that? Interesting. I'm gonna have to talk to him about that. I wonder what that is. They're kind of niche because they are 30 volts. Now, I don't have a whole lot of power stations that could take in that power. My bigger ones can take in that power, but they have bigger arrays on them. So I don't necessarily need to use these. But my bull bat on this DC input says that it can take in up to 30 volts. So I need to get these out here. I don't know how I'm gonna test them because the thing, the leads are so far apart. Like this is one side and that is all the way on the other side. I, I don't think I could even test that. Well, I can, I could put a, an extension cable on it. I happen to have one hanging right here from when I consolidated things. So I could accomplish that. So let's explain a couple things here, right? 30 volts at like three amps. So what I had in mind is I could parallel these joints and I happen to have a couple sets of parallel cables, but with them being so far apart, I'm gonna have to figure out some wizardry here. But I'm thinking about putting them into a power station that could take in up to 30 volts. I think the EcoFlow may be able to take in 30 volts as well. But anything I have that can take in 30 volts, this will probably be right at that limit. And then I can put them in parallel. So it'll be 30 volts at like six amps, which is fine. Or if I hooked it up to something that could take the things in series, I could hook them up in series and then it would double it to 70, 60 volts at three amps. So, you know, six one way, half a dozen another, right? Very interesting. I feel like 30 volts at three amps can't be right um, because these are 70 watt panels. It's probably 30 volts at like two point something amps, right? They can roll up pretty good. I was thinking about the practical implications of these and like, what would you use them for? The only thing I could think of is if you had the space to roll these up and you had a bigger power station, maybe you could, these would be, I don't even know, would they be easier to travel? Maybe you could lay them across like a um, awning or a, a teardrop camper or your vehicle for that matter. They're interesting panels. Right now I have both positive leads on this side, both negative leads on that side. You see I got two positives on one side, two negatives on the other side. Okay, hook up, bam, and then hook up, bam. And then I have my leads, my leads to run one cable out there, run one cable around here. That's a weird setup, but that's what we gonna try. So actually one of the leads, the little suction grip, that waterproofs it actually is not quite there. That's beyond my pay grade, but it is hooked up. I'm gonna hook this one up in a second. This is the moment of truth. MC4 cable to 5521 to 5525. Snap, I forgot the one key thing to do. Check this voltage first, right? <laughs> Here you go, 26 uh, open circuit. That's actually really good. I could probably use this to charge anything if it's gonna come through at 26, right? Cause my stuff is rated you know it'd be like 12 to 28 12 to 30 you know what i mean so that that could work that could work now it could get higher under on other circumstances but i'd have to be careful with that but hey let's give it a shot it is a fall winter sun kind of day look at that <laughs> it's getting 53 watts now that's 270 watt panels. I don't know how crazy I am about that, but it's power. Now here's my dilemma. I don't know if these have a film on them or not. So I'm gonna have to message them real quick to see if they have a film on them. Cause I need to peel that off. I mean, them getting 53 watts, that's 25 watts. A pop, 26, you know what I mean? On a 140 watt array, that's not great. <laughs> it's also not angled very well. Actually, let's look at, see what my 100 watt is getting. Maybe we could gauge off of that. So that is getting, Still adjusting 30, 32. That feels really high <laughs> for that. I'm not that impressed with this ground deploy of that Renergy panel. But if it's getting 32, 30, I'll, I'll take it. So that's a 100 watt panel getting 30 watts. Those are 70 watt panels getting 25. Maybe that makes sense at a flat deploy. I can't angle them because they're weird. <laughs> 
So yeah, I'm gonna message him and then we'll finish up this video. So he got back to me. He said they are not <laughs> to be peeled or anything like that. That's just a part of the construction. So that's what I can expect from these panels, which makes sense comparing the 100 watts getting 32 and the 140 watts getting 53. That feels okay. I'm not going mad because that ain't my strong suit. But that, that feels about right for a flat deploy in winter. Um, so, you know, I'm getting 53 watts into my power station that was getting no power.